Are you still adding supplements such as calcium and alkalinity solutions to your tank manually? Stay tuned as we will cover a way to easily automate this process. Hi, this is Carlos from CVTV and today we'll be discussing the brand new ice cap dozer. While most reefers start by manually adding supplements to the tank, the process is tedious and needs to be done on a regular basis. At some point or another, most reefers switch over to a more automated way to provide aquariums with necessary supplements. Some reefers do this by installing a calcium reactor, which we will cover in a later video. But others do this by installing a peristaltic pump. These pumps can be programmed to administer a set amount of solution at preset time cycles. They can be used for topping off water lost due to evaporation, dosing trace elements, adding two-part supplements, balling method, cut wasser, or any other liquid supplement or food. Installing the ice cap dozer is simple. Just place it on a flat surface and plug it in. You can also mount it on the wall surface using the mounting kit and a couple of screws placed 1 and 3 8 inches apart. Mount the dozing pump using the two holes on the bottom side. When mounting the dozer, please be sure not to bend the rubber hose as it will prevent the dispersion of liquids. Use the magnetic attraction on either side of the dozer body to align up to four units. When attaching the rubber hose to the connector, please make sure to attach the input to the right side and the output to the left side. After the unit has been mounted and hose is connected, we can now connect the power adapter to either of the two DC 12 volt jacks on the back. Take the power adapter and connect it to your AC wall outlet. You can link up to four dozers to a single power outlet. Once the dozer is connected, the display screen will flash 10-8H. This is the default setting and it means that after every eight hours, it will automatically dose 10 milliliters of liquid. The next step is to purge the lines from all air. This process is also known as priming and can be easily done by just pressing and holding the prime button. Remember that you must prime the doser every time you exchange or refill the solution containers. Now that the doser is on, we need to calibrate it. We need to do this to make sure that the actual dose matches the display unit. We also recommend recalibrating the doser every six months to ensure its continuous accuracy. To calibrate the doser, you will need the calibration beaker included in the box. Press and hold the time setting display button for four seconds. The display will now flash 58-10. 58 stands for the running time of the doser and the 10 is the testing value of the dosage. After two seconds, it will begin dosing 10 milliliters of liquid into the testing beaker. If the dosage is lower than 10 milliliters, then press the liquid volume setting unit button to increase the running time from 58 to 59 and test again. Increase the running time until the dosage is equal to 10 milliliters. If the dosage is higher than 10 milliliters, then press the liquid volume setting decimal button to decrease the number to 57 and then test again. Repeat the process until the dosage is equal to 10 milliliters. Once the unit has been successfully calibrated, press and hold the test button for four seconds to return to normal function. The display unit will indicate its default value of 10-8H. Now that the unit is calibrated, we are ready to program it. To set the dosing time, press the time setting button once. The doser can be programmed to run every 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, and 12 hours. Or you can also select to run the unit from once a day up to once every 9 days. Once we have set the dosing time, we can now set the dosing amount. Press the liquid volume setting buttons to increase or decrease the amount. The unit can dose from as little as 1 milliliter to as much as 99 milliliters per dosing cycle. The ice cap doser comes equipped with a unique delay mode function to prevent the disbursement of multiple liquids at the same time after the disruption of power to the unit or units. This mode is only activated where two, 
three or four dosers are linked to together. You can set each of the dosers to delay between 5 and 55 minutes in 5 minute intervals. To set delay mode on each individual unit, press and hold the time setting button for 4 seconds. Then the display unit will flash 00DE, indicating that you are entering delay mode. The two zeros indicate the delay time, which is in this case none. All the units have a default delay time of 0 minutes. Press the liquid volume setting buttons to increase or decrease the delay time. You can set the delay times from 5 minutes up to 55 minutes at 5 minute intervals. To finalize delay mode, press and hold the time setting button for 4 seconds and the unit will return to normal operation. The display will flash 10-HD. We recommend replacing the rubber hose and motor regularly. The hoses should be replaced every 600 hours and the motor should be replaced every 800 hours of running time. For a full set of replacement parts, please visit www.coralview.com. To remove the motor, just remove the dosing pump cover by releasing the latch. Carefully pull out the motor just enough so you can pull up the connection wires. Once the motor has been removed from the unit, push outward on the left and right channels and slide the motor out. Here are answers to some common issues you may have with your ice cap dozer. I just received my dozer and I cannot get it to prime. I press and hold the prime button but no solution comes out. What do I do? Insert the input hose into hot water and then try to prime the unit again. Hold the prime button until the hot water disperses from the output. My dozer operates at the program times, but no liquid is dispersed. What do I do? Make sure that the hoses are not blocked or pinched. Then, make sure that there's enough liquid on the container and that the dozer is not pulling any air. You can also reprime the unit or run a quick test. For quick testing instructions, please refer to the user's manual included in the box. If you have any other issues or questions about your ice cap dozer, please head over to www.coralview.com forward slash support and submit a support ticket. If you have any comments or tips to share with the reefing community, feel free to leave them in the area below. If this is your first time, hit the subscribe button as every Thursday we release a new video related to reefing. Thank you for watching CVTV and see you next time.